Okay, so we've moved over the G apps zip file to our micro SD card, and now we're just gonna slap the SD card back in here. Close that up. Now we need to boot the Nook into recovery mode. And the way we do this, and don't panic if you don't get it right the first time, you can try this as many times as you want. The way to boot it into recovery mode is you hold down the N button over here, and then while holding the N button down, you hold the power button for about six seconds-ish. Um, whenever the touch the future of reading shows up here, we're going to let go of the buttons, and hopefully that will have been uh, enough to get recovery mode started. It does take me a couple of times sometimes. So we're holding them both down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, there's such a future region. I'm going to let go. And we'll know if it boots into recovery mode because we'll have our little Linux penguin back and it'll start installing uh, the Google apps from the micro SD card. If not, if we didn't get it into recovery mode, then side CM7 will load up as it normally does, and all we have to do is shut it down and try again. No need to worry if it doesn't. Oh, see, there's a... Okay, we're going to try to get into recovery mode one more time. Hold the end button down. Hold the power button down. Keep them both pressed. And let go. Now we cross our fingers. And there's our penguin. Yay! So what it just did was it installed the Google Apps and Google Market. We're going to go through that. And it's same thing as before, all steps complete, ready for a reboot. Uh, screen goes blank, still on. So we're going to hold the power button down. And the screen just went fully black, so that means it's off. Now, we're going to boot up again. And now we should be fully uh, installed, full Android tablet functionality. Whenever this boots up, we'll go through uh, the market setup. Um, but after that, it would be just like uh, any other Android tablet or, or Android phone that you're used to. If you uh, just go into the market, grab the apps you want, download them, you're good to go. Okay, now let's see if we can see this. Just the camera a bit. Uh, this is the Google Market setup. Got the backup and restore options here. Keep this device backed up with my Google account. Sure. Uh, welcome to No Color. Touch the Android. Uh, set up your Google account. Already have a Google account. You can sign in. We're going to sign in. Um, touch the text box and keyboard pops up and we're just going to set that up off screen real quick. Now it's signing in and this can take up to five minutes. Oh, 
that was important. We haven't connected to Wi-Fi yet. I skipped that step. So connect to Wi-Fi. And so ha ha ha, we forgot to connect to Wi-Fi earlier, but that's okay. Okay, um, so we went ahead and forgot to set up Wi-Fi when we first had a CM booted up the first time. That's fine. When we went through Google uh, Apps Installer, it went ahead and prompted us, whoa, I need Wi-Fi. So we went ahead and set that up. And now this is giving us a notice that uh, this installation program only appears once. So we hit OK. And here's a list of all the things that we can go ahead and install directly. Facebook, Gmail, Google Chrome, Google Goggles, Google Maps. Uh, most of this can be gotten in the market. Um, so it's really up to you whether to go ahead and install it with this particular installer or to just go plow straight through. So we're going to go ahead and hit YouTube and OK. And now we get the market terms of service, accept. And oh, here we go took us to the YouTube market page. So go ahead and install, accept permissions. Um, this is the Google location data um, where you can decide whether or not to, to uh, uh, allow Google to collect anonymous location data. Press next. This is the backup and restore options for whether or not to back up your apps to your Google account, um, next, and then finish setup. And then we're going to press the end button to back out to, or no, actually there's a next down there. Next, getting ahead of myself. So now we're back out on the home screen, and if we pull up our apps, there is Google Market right there. If you were to open that, and if you were to select the, oh, I bumped us back out, press the button by accident, pull up Market, select Settings, uh, My Apps. you will see a list of compatible apps that you've already bought on any other uh, Android device. And then if we go back to the market homepage, then you can browse for new ones, search for new ones, install new ones. Um, and that really is all you need to know for setting up and running CM7 off of your Nook Color. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to power this off. The device is off now and just going to show that we didn't change anything. I'm going to pop the micro SD card out. There we go. Close that back up and power up our nut color again. There we go. And you can see, just by taking the SD card out, we're back to the Barnes & Noble stock software that comes on the Nook Color device. We didn't ruin it, we didn't delete it, we didn't change it in any way. Um, and you can switch back and forth from this 
stock software to the CM7 uh, tablet software simply by turning the device off and either putting in or removing the micro SD card depending on which way you're going and then just turning the device back on. It's as, as simple as that. Again, this is not rooted. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it could be fresh out of the box. Uh, and all we ever really needed was a micro SD card.